Hey Houston, we are in the last segment about uh, streams and water and how water sculpts the earth on the, on, on the top and under the earth. And we're going to continue our discussion about springs. Now, this picture is crazy. I don't know if you really get this. Water is just shooting out of the rock. Woo! There's no stream feeding this. It's just coming out of the rock. That's called a spring. So what the heck is a spring? So here's you got, again, it comes down with groundwater. You've got an unconfined aquifer. Here's the water table. And at some point, it's just going to shoot out. The pressure of all this water moving down in this direction pops out, and then you get a spring. Does it make sense? And maybe you've visited some springs, particularly the ones that uh, garner, garner attention is the hot springs. So I, as many of you know, I used to live in Colorado, and there's some hot springs, is that it's also being heated up by the, 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 the heat from the center of the earth, and you get these hot springs. People will sit in them. It's like basically big, free hot tubs, I guess, etc. So that's what a spring is. That's what causes this picture, is that there's an aquifer behind that, and it's pushing out, and it finds a place of weakness, and some of it makes its way to the surface of the earth and makes a a river, if you will. Now, we have talked about wells, but we haven't really talked about how a well works, right? You've got an aquifer underneath here, and what you do is you drill a big hole, boom. But something important that happens over time is that as you draw the water, is the water goes into the well, right? And then at a certain point, it, 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 it diminishes the amount of the water, it lowers the water table, right? Because all this water that used to be here Right, is now being used up at the well for your home or wherever you're going to do this. And over time, what happens is it doesn't replenish itself and the wells can go dry. So the solution, of course, is to drill deeper um, or to wait and allow it to recharge. The aquifers can recharge, but sometimes it takes days, months, and years for that to happen. And yeah, that's kind of an important feature. And, and this is actually a big issue in certain parts. Again, I'll go back to the days in Colorado. There's a huge aquifer in the eastern plains of Colorado, the flat part of Colorado. And they use that to water plants or to, to crop irrigation. And, and the problem is, is that aquifer keeps getting drawn down and down and down. And they're reaching a point where uh, they're just taking out more than it's being recharged in a year. And so this is a huge problem is that at some point they're not going to have enough water to grow their crops. But, and this is hugely a big fight in, uh, in, in legal fight that people are doing all the time. So it's a very fascinating to watch um, things. In the Western United States, you may not know this, but the most uh, litigated you know, lawsuit type thing that happens is uh, water litigation. Uh, water rights litigation. Who owns the water? How do I get the water? And it's a, it's a huge uh, uh, problem in the Western United States because it tends to be drier, more arid, and they're getting so much water from the ground and they're depleting it and that's creating all kinds of problems. And lastly, let's talk about something called an artesian well. These are kind of cool. An artesian well, here's one. It just automatically, it's not something that it happens, just, it just sprouts by itself. So you don't have to pump it out with a, a well. This is a well that happens naturally. And usually what you've got is you've got some sort of a depression. And then you've got all this pressure from this aquifer pressing up, and then it sprouts it by itself. So artesian wells are, tend to be really cool. Um, and oftentimes it's super crazy pure water. And so a lot of people say it's fed by an artesian well. You might have heard that term. Basically, it's uh, underground water being forced up to the surface. And it tends to be some kind of a depression because the pressure of this this aquifer is pushing it up and you make an artesian well. Well, folks, this is, this is it for this entire level. We have learned so much about water and we're going to do lots of cool stuff in class, of course, and you've already done it actually, that is going to help you to understand in depth all of this stuff. We will see you in class. Houston, we ain't got no problem.